Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be creating a really nice spring look. We're finally getting into the warmer months. That's my type of weather. I hate being cold. 70 degrees is pushing it for me. Like that's how much I hate being cold. And we're almost into April. I'm filming this right at the end of March. April is my birthday month. I am an Aries and I am super excited about this birthday. I wanted to do something really fun, just really florally, really like just vibrant. This video is actually in sponsorship with Glossier. This is my second bottle of this. So I'm gonna be showing you guys later on at the end of the night how I remove my makeup with this bad boy. We've all been there, super tired, just don't even wanna take it off. I was actually just tweeting about this earlier. I hate getting up the motion of getting up to do my skincare routine, but once I start doing it, I get really into it and I go through all the steps, but there's just some days that I'm just like, cleanse, serum, moisturizer, that's it. I have no, I just don't have the competency for more. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how I do my quick get to bed because I'm either too turnt or I'm just dead tired. But before that, we actually gotta apply the makeup. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I don't know why, I feel like it's gonna be warm today, so I'm gonna go a little bit more on the matte side. I'm definitely more of a dewy side girl with my makeup, but I think I'm gonna go more matte today. I'm gonna go in with the YSL Touche Eclat Blur Primer. Um, this is a new one I've been playing around with. It's, it's cool. I don't know if I'm like obsessed with it. I like the way that it feels though, for sure. Um, and definitely, control shine. I do use a facial oil in the morning, but I let it sit on my face for like at least 10 minutes so that it can sink in really well and not really affect my makeup. This method, um, I think I, I know I saw it on Jackie. I think she started it. It's the powder before foundation. I've tried it once with a different powder and it was not cute to say the least. It was very dry and very cakey and very desert-like, and it didn't look good, but I have this new powder from Dior. It's the Forever and Ever Shine Control Powder. This one's a lot more lightweight, so I think I might be able to get away with that with this powder versus like all the other powders that I've tried to use it with. So I'm just gonna powder my nose area, which is really what gets craziest. Just gonna do the center of my face. So that doesn't look bad. See what I mean? Like it's a lot thinner than all the other powders that I've used before. So you can kind of get away with it, but the other powders that I used before were, it was just wasn't cute. I'm going in with the Dior Backstage Foundation. Going in with one of my more full coverage concealers, I'm using the Cover FX Power Play Concealer. Alrighty, so I just did my brows off camera and I primed my eyelids with the same concealer that I used all over my face. I think I wanna do something kind of monochromatic. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into this Color Drain Beauty Rest Palette. And I'm going to apply the shade Dusk, which is this shade, this red shade right here. And I'm gonna apply that into my brow bone area. You guys know I love to give you guys fun looks that are super easy to recreate and super wearable. I'm gonna use this Morphe M433 brush and I'm going into the James Charles palette. I'm gonna go into the bright red right here. And then now I'm going to take a smaller brush and I'm gonna add in that pink shade as well. Hopefully this doesn't. I'm gonna use the Glossier Lash Slick and I'm gonna go ahead and use that as my mascara just to help Pick up my little baby hair. And this mascara is really lightweight. It's like perfect to use underneath falsies and for just like everyday wear because it really does not clump. It just elongates 
It make your makes your lashes look really fluttery. And it's also water resistant and doesn't smudge. My lashes are so small that if they clump together, it's just, that's it. I have three little lashes <laughs> and that's all. So now we're gonna go to the under eye and I'm probably just gonna stick with the pink shade. I'm gonna pack it right on my waterline. I'm just gonna use the shade Dusk, that Dusk shade, that first shade that I put down, and I'm just gonna blend that out. I'm gonna use the Cover FX Glitter Drops. I have it in the shade Lunar, and it's this right there. That's really pretty. For blush, I'm gonna use the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Blush in the You Had Me at Merlot. And I'm just gonna apply that on my cheeks. All right, I'm going in with Black Coffee from Pat McGrath, and I'm gonna use that as my lip liner. This is Max um, Double Shot. This is a little bit more pinky than I wanted. I'm gonna go on top of it with this NARS Velvet Lip Glide in the shade Mars, and it's just a little bit more mauve deeper. Yeah, that's what I wanted, I guess. That's it. Alrighty guys, so this is the vibe, this is the look for the day. It looks really cute. I like it. So I'll see you guys tonight. So this is what I'm wearing. Got some thigh high boots. Cause, and these are pretty comfortable to shop in while, and I can still look cute. Just got the shirt and a little jacket over top of it. And that is pretty much it. And that is the vibe for today. How do we like? My favorite thing when I go shopping, I always have my headphones in. And if you see me with my headphones in, just come say hi. So this is outfit number one. It looks really cute. Really cute. The lighting is just not that good in here, but it's adorable. How cute. How cute is this baby? I feel like I'm gonna buy everything. Let me know down below in the comments which one is your favorite, guys. I'm about to go take my makeup off. Uh, it's been a day. After I finished shopping, Tony and I went to go grab dinner at our favorite restaurant called The Bluefish. It's so good. It's so good. They have this dish there called, um, I think it's like beef katsu or something like that. And it's like my favorite. I would have vlogged the dinner part and like showed you guys what we were having to eat. But I didn't eat all day until we went to dinner. And it was like at around 7 or 8. I just needed to put something in my stomach like ASAP. I couldn't even think straight. So it's like not vlogging. Watching a little bit of YouTube because I'm a night owl. I struggle sleeping. I struggle with sleeping at night. Tony's already in bed because he, when he's tired, he's tired. He knocks out. He's just like, I'm done. I'm going to sleep. I've just been sitting here watching a little bit of YouTube. It's about to be almost 1 a.m. I forgot to tell you guys, I changed my hair earlier. I had it tied up like right after I finished. Filming, I changed my mind. I was like, nah, I'm put it back down and I put it back down. I don't know. I just, something about like the straight, like sleekness of it and like the middle part, it's just my favorite. It's one of my favorite looks on me. I just realized that this is such better lighting. Okay. Am I in focus? I hope. Anyways, let's go ahead and take off this makeup. There are just days that I spend 30 to 40 minutes on skincare, mask included. And then there's days where I can barely, I mean barely get myself to take off my lashes. <laughs> and I know I'm not the only one, so I'm just gonna show you guys what I do when I am super tired, dead tired, lazy AF, and I have to remove my makeup and make sure I get a good amount of hydration in my skin so that I won't feel guilty the next day. Because you wanna at least 
take it off and at least moisturize your skin. So we're gonna go ahead and take these babies off. I am going to use the Milky Jelly Cleanser. It's conditioning face wash and you can use it wet or dry. I like to use it dry because I feel like it just works. For me, it just works better. I like to make sure I get everything off and then rinse it off. I just take like, I've already told you guys about this one, but it's really good. I do like that much for my face. Bye, brows. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so we're just gonna make sure we take everything off and then rinse nice and clean. So this is my face all washed off. Literally took everything off, even the mascara. So that's really good. Um, the reason why I like this one is because there's oil cleansers, like a cleansing oil, and then there's an actual cleanser. And for me, I feel like this one works like, it's like two in one. It removes the makeup like an oil cleanser, but then it rinses off like an actual cleanser. And it's two steps in one with this product. That's why I like it a lot and especially on those days where I'm not trying to take my time and it doesn't leave your skin really tight feeling and dry. You know that squeaky feeling? That's not a good feeling on your skin at all. I'm going to use just two other products. I'm gonna use the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. This is one of my favorite nighttime serums. It's just kind of one of those products that you I've been using so long that I know it's just not gonna do me dirty. And then a nighttime mask, and this is the Bare Mineral Skin Longevity Sleeping Gel Cream. And I'm just gonna use a little bit of that. It feels really good. So that's it for today's video. Thank you again to Classier for sponsoring today's video. If you guys have enjoyed it, make sure you give me a thumbs up and let me know what is your lazy AF nighttime routine. Let me know down below what it is. What is something that you have to do or what are some things that you're just like, not tonight. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Lots of love and I will see you guys next time.